All right, good morning. All the sheathing in the main cabin is all done. All done. Now, now I'm working on my bathroom walls around the shower enclosure. <clears throat> I'm cutting this piece right now. I'll show you when I get it in. Okay. Good news. The exterior bathroom wall is done, which was the last part of the exterior walls in the main cabin. It's all done. And I'm out of uh, sheets of Luan. I was gonna go ahead and do the inside bathroom wall, so I'm gonna go get some more, and I'll be back. All right, I decided to go get the Luan tomorrow. It's about 12.30 now, and there's a couple of uh, little mechanical things I have to do. Um, <coughs> this is my black water vent pipe. And it's going to come straight up that wall and go right through that top plate and then right on out through the ceiling. I'm not going to drill through the ceiling right now. Um, I'll do that, you know, when I put the vent pipe in for sure. But at a minimum, I want to get my hole here. Cause I can work I got both sides here um, and then because the roof's not getting the ceilings not getting spray foam until all the electrical is done so when I get ready to put that vent pipe in I'm just gonna drill through and put the pipe up and put the cap on it up there and seal it off and life should be good but if I don't do this now um, it might be more difficult in the future. Same thing with this vent pipe right there. I gotta come through this stud, go straight up, go through that stud, go through that stud, and then ultimately it'll go out the ceiling. Now my, my utility pipe, that just comes up and goes through that stud, um, right there. And then, uh, you know, my wires and all. We'll be able to go right down into it and come over and then go over to my where I'm going to mount my tank monitors over there my tank heaters and that sort of sort of thing so all right let me drill those I'll be back okay I got my uh, got my vent pipe hole drilled and oh my finger's in the way and I went right on through <coughs> and made me a mark in the center. And then when I get ready to put the vent pipe in, I'll just blast through the roof and uh, my vent pipe will be installed. I didn't, uh, I didn't do these yet just because they'll be pretty easy to do. There's, there's no wall going to be on that. I got my my electric conduit is installed and I'll be able to run my wires <coughs> that go down underneath the uh, coach to uh, my tank monitors, my uh, wires for my uh, elbow heaters, tank heaters, etc or any other wire that I want to bring from the inside to the outside without having to, uh, you know, do some crazy stuff. Um, you know, additional holes, that's an inch and a half pipe. And uh, it's not glued up yet, but uh, I'll get it glued up and I'll put some spray foam in there and that'll keep it nice and taut. And 
when it goes underneath the trailer, don't want you to think there's just going to be an open pipe down there. It's going to go into a box, a weatherproof box that uh, has a nice seal on it. And, uh, you know, you bring your wires into it or out of it, just like you would any other electric box. It's, uh, it's going to be made out of the same, uh, I don't know what schedule that is, but maybe 40, uh, same type of material. So that'll be good. And uh, got my tank. Install those tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm all packed up and ready to go back over to the aluminum shop and install these. I'm on my way right now to uh, to buy some more uh, stainless steel bolts if I can find them. I uh, almost forgot, but uh, I'll let you know how that works out. All right, talk to you guys in a little while.